there everyone! I'm so glad you could join me for another eyeshadow palette declutter. This time we're looking at baby ones like quads, quince, little guys like these. I'm gonna go through them, tell you what I'm keeping, what I'm not. Kinda self-explanatory. I'll leave my declutter playlist linked up above. You can also catch my large palette declutter which I did not all that long ago. And if you like these kind of videos feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Let's get down to business. Okay, first things first, let's pull out the pretty Pat McGrath palette. Can you tell I like this gold shade? I really like this gold shade. I like the whole palette, honestly. I think it's so pretty. I'm keeping this and man, every day I hope she releases more shades of, the, of these particular kind of quints and every day I'm disappointed. <sighs> but I still hope. Okay, we're gonna get a little embarrassing here. Let's talk about palettes that I have had forever. Starting with, they don't make this and they haven't for years, the Six Pan Wet n Wild palettes. This is Lust. It is the best purple palette I have ever had, probably will ever have. I mean, look, I have a dip in that deep matte shade. How do you even do that? I love this palette so much. I will say it's getting to the point where it's old enough that I'm uncomfortable. Like it still works fine. I don't notice any issues with the formula and I'm very careful about where I store these. That said, I am actively looking for another purple palette to replace this, but shades like these are just hard to come by. You know, Wet n Wild did it right and then they immediately discontinued, which is just so hurtful. <laughs> if you know of anything similar to this at all, please leave it in the comments down below so I can stop grossing myself out. But yes, I am keeping it. Thanks for asking. Another old palette that I am going to hang on to, this isn't as bad. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio in Copper Chic. It's an all shimmer quad and they're really like wet looking shimmers. Like they even feel wet. They're sort of like I guess before we had ColourPop, we had these. Super duper enjoy these. Uh, still break it out from time to time, but I either don't make eye studios anymore or they don't make this particular one. But like, look at the pan I've hit on this. And two shades, no less. That's impressive. I'm gonna hold on to this. Honestly, I'll probably use it up and then I'll be sad because what'll I do then? But for now, sticking around. This one was such a disappointment. The CoverGirl True Naked Zenning Out Quad. It looks so nice and it's just a whole lot of nothing. Like this shade, what a useless matte. It doesn't show up for anything. I was expecting more from this shimmer and I was profoundly disappointed. Yeah, it's just a palette that's a big old bummer. It's gotta go. It'll be getting gone. Another palette that I'm, I'm sad to say goodbye to because I want every indie brand to succeed, but this quad from Love Lux Beauty, it just isn't it for me for whatever reason. I have a shadow from Love Lux that I really, really like, but these two mattes, they're quite powdery and this one just isn't as deep as I'd like it to be. I've realized I'm not a flaky kind of person, so this, I, I'd like a shade like this to just be straight up pigmented as possible and then this gold like I love golds but it's not enough for me to want to keep the palette. I did try repressing this and I mean clearly the formula it just isn't for me so it's gotta go. Okay different brand similar packaging Copacetic Cosmetics. I love this. Again we have a flaky shade. I don't really use it all that much but these other shades mm, love them. Sparkly gold love that matte green. I mean, it, it works well with this. I kind of use it for like, this is a palette that I'll pull in to add as a compliment. And then there's this beautiful flaky multi-chrome. I definitely have videos where I've swatched these a hundred times. Suffice it to say, this one is staying. This one I reviewed eons ago on my channel, back when I had terrible lighting. This is the Flower Beauty Petal Play in Black Iris, I believe. It's just, it's kind of a super cute little cool toned palette. Uh, the, I believe this is actually a vegan formula. I remember this doesn't have carmine, which on days where I have bad allergies, I really do appreciate this. It's kind of one note, but I also really like it, you know? 
It's made me want to try more Flower Beauty, honestly. I just think, you know, it's a simple quad. It works well, so it'll stay. Oh, will we ever shut up about Wet n Wild? This is from their Fantasy Makers collection. I believe 2019 was, yeah, it was 2019, so it's not that old. This is, if I can even open it, God, I hate this packaging, a uh, beautiful fall palette. Such a range, really, really nice, and it's got some really great, like, variations of shimmer. Let me show you. So, like, some are more shimmery than others. Like, there's a gradient. It's really nice, and I'm holding on to it, even though the packaging is just absolute garbage. Well, what can you do? Well, what do you know? That just leaves my entire elf bite-sized shadow collection. God almighty. I did do a video ranking all these with swatches and everything, so you can go ahead and watch that if you're curious. I am going to be keeping all of these solely because at this point it's basically a collection. And also just like for review purposes, like let's say Elf answers my prayers and comes out with more versions of these, then you know, I'll have something to compare it to. I will say the one dud in this whole thing is rose water. I don't understand people who enjoy it. I think it's garbage, but that's neither here nor there. Talked about that in my rankings video, linked up above. <laughs> so yeah, these are all staying because I like them so much. Okay, folks, so here is what we're keeping. And do you wanna see what we're getting rid of? These two quads. Oh, what a great declutter. Aren't you guys so happy that you sat through this to see me get rid of two whole quads? Oh man, I know, I sure am. <laughs> well, sorry, this is a bit of a downer, but I do love these, so I am gonna hold on to them and love them dearly. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. If I uh, broke your heart by not really getting rid of anything, you can go ahead and let me know. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.